In this video, you'll learn about the English idiom hope against hope, its origin, first use, meaning, and an example. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Alistair and my passion is teaching. To know more about English, languages or accents, consider subscribing. Should you be looking to improve your English level, then contact me using the details in the description below. To hope against hope means to hope against reasonable grounds or justification. To hope strongly that something will happen, even though you know it is not at all likely to occur. The origin of this idiom centres around Abraham, a character from the Bible. In relation to Abraham, Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 4, verses 18 and 19, says, In hope he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations. As he had been told, so shall your offspring be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. Two verses in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, outlining the life of Abraham, match up with Paul's writings around 2,000 years later. Chapter 15, verse 5, and chapter 17, verse 17. And he, that's God, brought him Abraham outside and said, Look toward heaven and number the stars, if you're able to number them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said to himself, Shall a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? From these readings, we see how the idiom hope against hope comes from the fact that Abraham, the father of the Jews, who despite being around 100 years old and married to Sarah, who was around 90 years old and well past the years of childbearing, chose to believe that God could do what he had promised. That is, to give him and Sarah a child of their own. For completion, this miracle of childbirth did happen and their son was born Isaac, meaning he laughs, reflecting the laughter in disbelief of Abraham and Sarah. To fully grasp the modern sense of this idiom, it's necessary to look at the original Greek translation in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul skillfully uses the double meaning of the Greek word elpizo, the positive hope, or the more neutral expectation. A suggested modern English literal rendering is extremely helpful to grasp the meaning of our phrase. Abraham, who against expectation believed what he had hoped for. Are you a person who hopes against hope or who hopes against expectation? Comment below and start the conversation. Popular use of this idiom began in the early part of the 20th century, including our example from European Parliament, Corpus English. We should have set a cutoff point, but we failed to do so. And now we have to continue and hope against hope for success. Now to discover more idiom origins, head over here. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.